Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Power Wheelchairs for Success, and today we're going to um, tackle a challenging subject, uh, which is uh, disparities that we face as people with disabilities in the healthcare systems here in the United States specifically. Uh, I'm sure this happens uh, elsewhere in the world, but today we're facing, we're going to talk about, review uh, the disparities here in the United States. Um, of course, I've had to read a lot and listen to videos to get all the information we need. Uh, it is a very large topic, um, and mainly because large topic. Uh, we have been uh, discriminated against and left behind for many decades. This is not a new topic. It's not a new situation. Uh, we are just pushing ahead in terms of figuring this out, what we're, we're going to do about it. So, uh, and how to, as people with disabilities, how do we address it? So, these are the people who right now in 2022 are involved in looking at this uh, situation and how they're going to go forward. And uh, I'm going to read uh, who all is involved. So we have the United States Department of Justice Civil Rights Division. We have the United States Department of Health and Human Services. And we have uh, the Accreditation Council on Graduate Medical Education, which covers universities and colleges around the, the country. Also, the organization that was coordinating this Zoom meeting that I listened to was the National Council on Disabilities, who we don't hear much from, uh, mainly because they are the entity that gives recommendations, insights, and information to the President of the United States. So uh, they are an important body. They have a website. And uh, I will put all the websites and the links of what I used to uh, do this video. Again, it's complex. I'm going to clarify some vocabulary so you understand what's going on and what your role could be in this mess that we have. So, <laughs> um, all right. There are already in the ADA standards for uh, medical exam rooms. For the buildings, the accessibility to the buildings is a regulation. So that's very different, a regulation from a standard. A standard is uh, a, rec uh, a recommendation, is a model uh, for the doctors to, to work on or the uh, medical teams to consider. A regulation is already a law, something that they have to do. <laughs> so, so that's why when you go to uh, your medical office, there is already uh, parking spots for the disabled. There are doors that are wide enough, the 32 inch or wider for wheelchairs to get through. There are wide enough hallways to, to drive down. And uh, there has to be some considerable space in the medical office and, that, uh, and accessible bathrooms. So that is the regulation that already exists for the physical building. <laughs> so, and that's as far as it goes. For the, the rest of what we need, which is uh, scales that can weigh us in our wheelchairs, uh, exam tables, that uh, can be at our height and can be raised up or lower. Uh, the current exam tables are 32 inches high and are placed on a box that are drawers, you know, below it. And we can't transfer. There is no way that we can do that. Uh, the uh, mobile exam tables, which can uh, be lowered or, or raised, is 17 to 19 inches in, in height when it's lowered, so we can transfer uh, without putting ourselves at risk of slipping or falling. So, <laughs> so 
there are there is equipment already to be able to do that. So the industries and the companies, the factories have made uh, the equipment already. And many times when you go do an x-ray, you know, or a bigger exam in a bigger hospital, they already have tables that can be lowered or and, and raised. Uh, they have x-ray machines that can move. So you sit still and, and the machine moves around you. So those, that type of equipment that we need is in the market already. So I'm sure it's much more expensive than the uh, old equipment that we see in medical offices, the 32-inch exam table. So, so this is the issue. There is a standard already in the ADA for um, medical equipment uh, that the doctors would need in their offices to examine, uh, uh, to be able to examine us in uh, an equal way in which they would examine uh, a, a mobile uh, patient. Uh, so there's not a regulation. So that is precisely where we are stuck right now in which they needed to gather more data in terms of what is happening, how many people are being uh, discriminated against or left behind in terms of their health and their uh, multiple health needs. So they had to get a little bit more information on that to be able to move forward and put it in move from standard to regulation. So what is our role in all of this? You know, the, the, the big guns, uh, you know, the Department of Health, the National Commission on Disabilities, uh, the DOJ, uh, they're, they're the big guns that have to create these complex meetings and vocabulary and, and statutes that they have to create uh, to make all this happen. However, at the ground level, at the grass level that we call it, um, we are uh, part of that. And we, uh, there is no harm for you to say, hey doc, you know, y you haven't examined me on, on an exam table ever that I remember, or it's been a very long time. When do you think your office can work towards getting a, an exam table that is adaptable for people with disabilities? It never harms to ask, never. And you can say, hey doc, you know, I'd like to be weighed once in a while, or you haven't weighed me in a long time, and I'd really like to know my accurate weight. Um, where can I do that? Or is your office, would your office consider, you know, working towards getting a uh, scale that can weigh me in my wheelchair um, or, you know, and would your office consider getting an exam table in which I can transfer over safely? So um, it, it never harms to ask. You know, sometimes we can get mad about it, but, and, and that sometimes can encourage us to, to say something. Uh, but it just depends on how we say it. And how we say it is very key. You know, in those examples, hey doc, you know, would your office ever consider X, Y, Z? Or I don't remember the last time I was X, Y, Z. So can we consider getting this special instrument so you can do your work better and keep my health in check? So it never harms. So I know my doctor has worked very hard in keeping me glued together. Um, but, you know, I did notice the other day, I just happened to notice, I don't know why until now. Maybe I didn't care before. <laughs> but there, she, she examined me while I was in my chair. So I thought, hmm, this is not too good. Because <laughs> I just had surgery. Um, and the other thing was, you know, I had to get weighed when I was in the hospital. I had to go to the hospital wing to get some kind of special appointment. And so it was there that I asked the nurse, could you please weigh my wheelchair so we know exactly how much it weighs and um, so that when they weigh me with my wheelchair, then we know how much to take off. So 
she said, sure, not a problem. So she ran down the hall and weighed my wheelchair. And then when I was done with my appointment, then she weighed me in my wheelchair. So we know my wheelchair we weighs 204.8 pounds. So they have to subtract that to the total. So, and they, in that wing, they were able to do it. So, um, so from time to time, I do get weighed if I'm in the hospital for some testing. So, but all clinics, you know, especially in the system I'm in, which is pretty large, uh, they do have the capacity to start switching over to scales that are wheelchair compatible. And um, most of the big exams I've had, the tables were adjustable. And for one table, they had to put me in a sling and, and move me over onto the table. So, uh, so that is possible. But I don't think for the smaller offices, like, you know, for my primary care doctor, I, I really don't think they'll be able to put a sling <laughs> in their office. The structure just won't hold it up. They would really have to get uh, adjustable exam tables. And um, I will have to put that question in my doctor's ear to see what she says, what she thinks. Um, and if she needs a letter from me, I'll, I'll be happy to, to do that. Uh, and I'm sure there's somebody special I have to write to <laughs> to be able to request that. And the system I'm in uh, could afford it, could afford it, you know, uh, one, two months and saving up their pennies, they could, they could handle it. So uh, this is where we're at. This is uh, 2022, and uh, the National Council on Disabilities is moving forward with um, moving from standards uh, in the ADA to regulation uh, of the uh, standards for a doctor's office and the equipment, the medical equipment they need to examine us in an appropriate way. Uh, so fingers crossed that maybe at the end of this year, beginning of next year, we might have uh, something in the ADA as a regulation and uh, things will begin to change for us. But again, at the grassroots level, it doesn't stop us from asking the question in a polite, kind way and see what the doctor might be able to do or what you could do along with your doctor to get a, a medical exam table that is it's, it's accessible for you and a scale in the medical office in which you can get weighed sitting in your wheelchair. All right, I will leave it at that. I will certainly leave all these links down below so that you can look at the things that I read uh, and listen to the video. The video is very good. It's a Zoom meeting between all these uh, important uh, groups. And uh, what they have to say is very pertinent and right on the money in terms of what our questions are in, in terms of <laughs> why is my doctor's office not accessible to me? So I will leave it at that. I'm hoping that uh, you all are well. Uh, and for those who are new, welcome to my channel. I post at least twice a week. And uh, come again, visit us. And if there is a topic that you would like, feel free to ask us and we will work on it, such as this one. This one was pretty complex. Uh, but I'm glad to do it for all of us and for us to be up to date in terms of what's going on and what is uh, moving ahead and what could use some help from all of us. All right, Lisa out. <laughs>